Hi everyone, Daniel here, and today I'll be talking about the power consumption of the Xbox One X. So in a recent video, I discussed the sound levels of the One X, and I hypothesized that there were two main groups of One X consoles where some were loud and some were quiet. And I showed that my One X console is significantly louder uh, than those reviewed elsewhere. Uh, I hypothesized that this was due to the Hovis method, uh, which is something Microsoft implemented uh, while constructing the motherboards and processors of the consoles where they implemented a custom power profile for every console. So essentially, some consoles take in more power than others, and my hypothesis was that uh, more power generates more heat and therefore the fan needs to spin faster and that generates more noise. Makes sense, uh, but I only in measured the sound levels of my One X. Uh, in other reviews, you may see something around 45 decibels. I was getting as high as 53 decibels on my One X console. That's 10 times louder than the original Xbox One. So that's fairly significant. It's very noticeable. Uh, today, I am went through some further testing and I'm looking at the power consumption of the One X. So, in order to do so, I have this little device here. It's called the Kilowatt, or Kilowatt. Uh, got it off Amazon, relatively cheap, good reviews. Uh, essentially, it works by plugging it into an outlet and then you plug in your device here. It has a variety of features, but the main thing that I was concerned with was the active wattage reading uh, that's displayed on the screen here. So I was using my Xbox One X, playing games, and looking at the screen here at the power usage of the device while doing so. So for this test, I did a control. I tested the original Xbox One console. So at idle, I got a reading of 46 watts. Uh, this compares to Digital Foundry's reading of 48 watts from their 1X review. Uh, this could potentially, this two watt difference could be down to maybe just a, a different version of the OS. So I don't know uh, when they tested this to get this number. This is of course without a Kinect plugged in. If you have a Kinect plugged in to original Xbox One, that will draw more power. Uh, but more importantly, the value that we're concerned with is maximum power draw. And uh, during Gears of War 4, uh, Digital Foundry reported 110 watts. I also measured playing Gears of War 4 110 watts. It varied a little bit, but it was consistently around that 110 watt reading. So I know that the, the, devi that, the device that I have uh, for measuring during this test is functioning appropriately. So into my 1x power measurements. When idle, I measured 52 watts. This is sitting on the dashboard, no background downloads active. That will affect uh, the power level of the Xbox. So I made sure no uh, background downloads were active. So I measured again, idle on the dashboard, 52 watts. This compares to Digital Foundry's 50 watts. So already on the dashboard, I'm getting a higher reading than what was reported by Digital Foundry in their review. Uh, next up, uh, my only other point, point of comparison with Digital Foundry, because they did a, a limited number of test scenarios, Gears of War 4 once again. So when playing Gears of War 4 uh, in a typical combat scenario environment, I was getting consistently in the high 170 watt range. And I recorded a peak value of 189 watts. Indoors, it's uh, typically darker environments in Gears of War when you're indoors. Uh, there's certainly a smaller environment, less going on. So uh, just another uh, point for, uh, of data for anyone that wants to replicate my tests. Uh, indoors, Gears of War, I was getting around 160 watts. So uh, the only value Digital Foundry reported playing Gears of War at 4K, they reported 175 watts. So even if you just take into consideration my average values being in the high 170s, I was consistently getting 
higher values than their reported high value. And my peak value, 189 watts, significantly higher than Digital Foundry's reported 175 watts. In uh, Gears of War 4, you also have the option of playing the game, 1080p, 60 frames per second on the Xbox One X. I recorded a value of 153 watts. Digital Foundry reported an oddly low value of 128 watts. Thought that was weird, went looking for other reviews on the internet. Uh, GameSpot also a fairly trustworthy source uh, for 1080p. GameSpot reported a value of 144 watts for Gears of War 4, so still uh, fairly low compared to my 153 watts. So I think that alone shows that my console is drawing more power than those that have been reviewed elsewhere on the internet. Uh, it should be noted that if you didn't watch my previous video, Digital Foundry again only reported a sound level of 45 decibels for their 1X console. They tested multiple consoles, uh, didn't get higher than 45 dB, and those that's a relatively quiet level for the Xbox One X. So a few more points of comparison for anyone out there that wants to also test their 1X console power draw. I played some Forza Motorsport 7. So doing a race in Forza 7 uh, without anything crazy going on, I was getting uh, 140 to 150 watts. Uh, when I turn rain effects on, played in third person, so getting uh, taxing it the console as much as I could, doing as much as I can in Forza 7, I was getting 160 to 170 watts in power draw in that game. I also tested Insects, which is the tech demo Microsoft released to showcase uh, the capabilities of the One X. So running Insects in 1080p, I was getting a constant 114 watts power draw. And then running Insects in 4K, I was getting a range of 177 to 183 watts of power draw. And then I also tested Rise of the Tomb Raider, another graphically intensive game on the One X. You can run that in 4K, of course. So running through the Gemothermal Valley, the most taxing part of the game, or one of the most taxing parts of the game, I was getting 158 to 168 watts of power draw on my One X console here. So if anyone would like to uh, attempt to test their console, replicate my tests, uh, feel free. Let me know in the comments below what you're getting. Uh, but that all said, I think that I can turn my hypothesis into a working theory, uh, comparing my power draw values to other uh, well, established outlets on the internet. Digital Foundry, of course, is the highest standard out there for technical in-depth reviews of video games and video game consoles. Uh, the fact that I'm consistently getting values much higher than theirs, uh, again, coupled with my noise level readings, I think shows that there are, in fact, essentially two groups of 1X consoles here, some that are louder uh, and some that are quiet. And really, generally speaking, it makes sense. You know, think about computer parts in general. You're, pu you're pulling in more heat, or sorry, you're pulling in more power, therefore you're generating more heat. And so you need to dissipate that heat, of course. And the Xbox One X does this by spinning the fan faster. Spinning a fan faster, of course, is going to be more audible or create more noise. Uh, this is especially noticeable on the Xbox One X because the fan is much smaller compared to the original Xbox One, so it creates the noise it's creating is a higher pitch, so it's uh, more noticeable to our ears than compared to like the low hum of the original Xbox. So that is unfortunate, suffice it to say. I'm still working on a full review of the Xbox One X, so if you wanna see a video review of that from me, be sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed 
this in-depth technical video. Let me know by giving this a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about my te testing methods uh, or anything like that, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.